Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome to Motion Nations and in today's video we are going to create this firework text reveal animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So before I begin, if you guys are new here then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and I've already imported the stock footage of the firework which I will put a link in the description from where you can download this. After that you can import it in After Effects and you are ready to go. So let's begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this main. Width and height 1920 by 1080 framed at 30 fps and duration you can go with whatever you want. Just click on OK. So here we have our composition. Now let's create our text. So select the text tool and just click and type whatever you want. I'm going to type motion nations. So just select your text, just align it and just make it bigger however you want. Let me just quickly make it a little bit bigger and let's align it in the center. If you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's start adding our firework. So just simply select the stock footage and drag it into the composition. Now you can see that we have this footage and you can slowly move it ahead and you can see we have a bunch of different fireworks and I'm going to use this one because it has all the elements within the frame or we can use this one as well. So let's first pick this one. So let's pick a frame something like this. After that you can select the pen tool and let's just quickly draw a rough mask around it. Something like this. So now you can see we have our firework and let's select this press F and let's feather it out a little bit something like this so now you can move back and let's select a point where this is just coming up and now you can hold on the alt key and press the left square bracket so that it will trim the comb something like this now we can probably scale this down and let's place it somewhere around here now you can change the blending mode from none normal to add if you're not able to see these, then you can just simply click over here. And here you can see we have our firework, but you will notice that we are able to see this weird kind of red background. So now select the layer and let's search for curves. Just drag it onto this layer and we are going to increase. Let's decrease the contrast quite a bit and let's increase the brightness. Something like this. So now you can see that we are, we have got rid of the red background and we have our firework so it's completely up to you you can select it and let's scale this little bit up and let's place it over here now we can trim the comp from the end as well just like this now we can again select this press ctrl d and let's select this other one and i'm going to quickly change my mask there you go now we have this firework as well and let's go to the beginning something like this and let's drag this endpoint over here so now you can see we have two fireworks one is this one other is this one so let's just quickly align them and let's move this further now again you can select any of these layers press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's move the other one on this side and let's add a little bit of delay something like this so it's completely up to you you can play around with their timing now if you think these are slower then you can right click go to the time and from here you can increase the time or make it faster or something but i think these are looking fine now let's just quickly change their color so let's select this layer and let's search for hls color balance and just drag it onto this layer after that you can change the hue and you can add whatever color you want so let's make this yellow again copy this and paste it onto this and let's make this green so you can see we have this little bit of glitch over here so we can just simply trim this layer and let's move it somewhere around here so i think this is looking fine now let's select all of these press ctrl d and let's move them to the top after that we can just simply align them and let's press s and scale them down now i'm going to quickly move them somewhere in the middle right above our text 
now let's play around with their position so i think this is fine so our last step is to just to animate the text so let's select this press t for opacity and let's add a keyframe and let's set this to zero and let's trim the layer from the beginning now let's pick a point where we can have our text appear so as somewhere around here this looks cool now let's add a adjustment layer and let's apply glow to this just drag it on to the adjustment layer and let's increase the radius quite a bit and lower down the intensity and let's select this press ctrl d to duplicate it one more time now just simply select the adjustment layer and place it on top of the text and now play around with the parameters so that your text looks something like this now we can animate its transparency so let's select this press t for opacity let's add a keyframe and in the beginning let's set this to zero as well and after that let's set this to zero so here you can see that now we have this really nice glow in the text reveal so we can probably select these layers and let's move them a little bit ahead so if i play back here you can see now we have created our firework text reveal and it's very easy to do in the same way you can add your logo over here and just apply this adjustment layer and it will have this really nice glowy reveal so this is how you can create these kind of reveals now the project file for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one <music>